All right. I don't know what's going on, but we'll fix it. Is that better? You don't care, me. I don't know. Tommy Frank Franklin from Fredericksburg, Virginia. I'm having a wreck of a time here. Just telling you. You're getting wrecked. I am wrecked. Well, you know, I'll sit down and straighten up eventually. Oh, man. So, Keith Haney and Tommy Franklin. Tommy Franklin does not run the number two on the side of that Chevrolet Camaro Virginia for nothing. He is a top contender of the category for Franklin Electric and his wife, Judy. And Pat Musi Racing Engines and Keith Haney, the Schweitzer Dynamic Chevrolet Camaro that is a wild wrap job. The car on the right side. All paint for Tommy Franklin, though. Left-hand lane, beautiful, 68 Chevrolet, first-gen Camaro. Looks like you got the bee's knees over there, the newest and the greatest. Yeah, that's, that's my guy. Wireless bike, you got it. Yeah. Working real good. Probably operator error, to be honest, but what else to do? So for Haney and the whole crew, Brandon Pez down there, Brandon Schweitzer down there, and this car has stepped up a bunch here in the past couple of weeks. Six miles an hour. Man, oh man. And Franklin has been fighting that car going to the left all weekend long and testing it. He did it yesterday. And uh, off the gas for the uh, Chevrolet down the right hand side. 450 118 for Keith Haney. But Tommy, I don't know why that car keeps going to the left the way it has. It's just one of those things they got to get the balance back. He went 962 early, which wasn't bad, but driving the car, a 965 for Keith Haney. Between the 60 and the 330, Haney's car gave up and went 450 at 118. Coming up next, Tommy Franklin and Keith Haney. Haney, the car dealer from the Tulsa, Oklahoma area. Also, the co-owner of the Osage Casino, Tulsa Raceway Park. So, the beautiful red Camaro coming to the water box now. Alongside is Tommy Franklin. You got new Camaro, old Camaro. Alongside Rear Morrison and Pat Busey under the hood. Oh, Keith Haney has that Chevrolet Camaro sideways. And here comes the electric company owner, Tommy Franklin. Franklin Electric, family owned business. Keith Haney would like to thank Lucas All for the support on his racing team, as well as the seven dealerships that he's accumulated in his very, very young life. 43 years of age, Keith Haney, very successful entrepreneur and businessman. Tommy Franklin, very much the same, 41 years of age, an electrician by trade, donor of Franklin Electric. Tommy finds Fredericksburg, Virginia, home. And again, Keith Haney from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. So it's Rear Morrison and Musi doing battle here. Qualifying session number two. Schweitzer Dynamics, Pro Knights. You go 376.6 or faster, or if you go 376.6, you got to go quicker than 200.89 on speed to get the number one qualifying spot. That's, you wouldn't have thought that we would have went down to the 1,000 and then went out to win off the speed to get a new number one qualifier, but that's how it played out. The track's there. The right lane was back-to-back, 76-6 runs. I want to see somebody lay down a number on the left-hand side. I would say both lanes are very, very equal right now. No question. I've been watching some great things come out of both. But is Tommy Franklin broke? Oh, he is broke, Tommy 
Ray Franklin, your number two finisher in the world from last year, is not making this qualifying run. Single run for Keith Haney. Haney, oh, oh man, there's all kinds of sparks out of the Chevrolet. 381, 195, and that motor is hurt for Rick Keith Haney. Those were piston Woo. parts coming out the exhaust, folks. <laughs> Unbelievable destruction going on there for Keith Haney. Hopefully they have parts they can fix that thing. But I'll tell you what, you could just hear the engine pulling down. Pulling down and, and him saying, I'm not going not anywhere. Happy. <laughs> no, and Keith Haney said, we are legging you to the finish line, boy. 195, the speed, 381, and it was throwing all kinds of stuff out of that exhaust, wasn't hey, it? That's a piston and a liner if I ever saw one right there. It's not supposed to look like 4th of July going down through there. Only when the fireworks go off, not when Keith Haney is racing. Hey, speaking of fireworks, tomorrow night we have fireworks here. We do. At US 131 Martin Motorsports Park. And we like fireworks. So next up, Ricky Smith and Robert Patrick. Well, uh, Keith, 80, I know you was up there waiting for a good long while, but the 81 wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, you know, but I went up there and I set, they told me a single run, so I roll in, set both bulbs, and then that leaves me hanging out there. I'm on the converter for five or ten seconds, you know, and it just kind of threw me a little off kilter, and then I could smell it, you know. Yeah. I could smell that I was on the converter, and then I guess I had a little little something out of the right. It's a fireworks show, they said. A little fireworks or something, but, you know, I'm I'm happy with it. You know, we went from, we had the power automatic, we had a switch, a uh, power switch that shut off and broke. On the last pass, we were hauling it. Yeah. And then here, you know, it run good there. So, I mean, I was looking for a lot bigger than a 81, 76, or 75. So, hopefully we'll go here to Q3 and get it handled there. You know, I owe it all to my great team, Brandon Schweitzer, Rear Morrison Power, and then, uh, of course, obviously, Lucas Oil and Raceback. And Brandon's got cars one, two, and three right now. I guess we got, no, I'm, I'm not. One and two for sure. One and two yeah. for sure, yeah. Yeah. There you go. I should have been one, two, three. We'll catch you at Q3. They said no 